What is up guys and welcome back to Dan Reviews and today we're going to be doing a video talking about a new article from The Walking Dead um, from EW and that is of Andrew Lincoln defends uh, The Walking Dead season 7 so th that's what the article uh, is called at least. So uh, this is a pretty interesting article uh, that I found. Uh, I wrote it down so I can t talk to you guys about it. Uh, I only wrote down the first maybe quarter of it. Um, if you guys want to hear the rest of it, I'll link it in the description. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's talk about what the article is. Uh, so uh, this might contain some spoilers. It doesn't really say anything too much about the second half, but he does say at least maybe a couple things here and there. So uh, here is the, uh, the article, at least the first little bit of it. Uh, and it says, this is this the, the stuff you really do need to hear for this one. Uh, and that is, uh, Andrew Lincoln has heard the complaints from some uh, fans about The Walking Dead Season 7. And he admitted, uh, admitted to uh, EW that it was even painful for him during filming of the first half of uh, the season. But he tells viewers to have faith um, and, uh, you know, it's... He basically goes on to say that uh, in the writers uh, and producers crafting the story has never uh, revered. Uh, this season made a lot more uh, sense once we got uh, the last roll of film in The Walking Dead, uh, you know, episode uh, 716, which is the finale of season 7, says Lincoln. So that's the, the part I wrote down. The rest, there's not much to it, so... I'll link it in the description, but this is the stuff that you that I'm going to be giving my thoughts on uh, when it comes to the article. Uh, that's all that really uh, sticks out to probably a lot of people. So, uh, basically he's saying, because um, even me, myself, I do realize and I do think that Season 7 has probably not been the best season of The Walking Dead. It's been slow, it's been very sad, and it's it's been lacking in episodes. They've been doing a lot of bottled episodes, which... A lot of people don't like, I don't personally like episodes like that either. I like to see most of our cast in an episode. However, I will say though that this uh, article is really, really cool. He says that somehow in the second half and near the end of the season, we really get to see that this season actually turns out to be really amazing. And uh, uh, we see that in the finale. That everything kind of comes together in the finale and really makes season 7 a lot better than what we're envisioning it now uh, and even from what we're seeing in the first uh, few episodes of the second half apparently it's like way, way near the end of the season we really see some really great stuff and it makes us like the season better so that's all I have to say about it it's pretty it's yeah it's pretty much in, it's pretty interesting um, and uh, it's just really really cool uh, I, I am a pretty big fan of this article uh, and it, it, it looks really cool um, I'm pretty sure uh, there are going to be some things throughout the second half, these next eight episodes. There could be a certain death of a certain character that we've been talking about. Uh, and if you don't want to know what character that is, but if you, do, if you don't really know what character we're talking about, because we haven't talked about this character most likely being killed off, uh, either at the end of the season or season 8, I'll link that video in the description too so you guys can check it out uh, for a certain character being casted in, uh, you know, um, Star Trek, basically. Uh, I won't say who it is because that'll spoil it, but uh, if, you, if you know who it is, you know who it is, and I've done a video on it, and I'll link that in the description. But this is interesting, so maybe we could see, you know, some, some stuff... Uh, from uh, All Out War in the, sec uh, in the second half. I'm saying most of the second half is not going to be All Out War. I'm going to say I think all of Season 8 is going to be all of the All Out War. But we could get maybe this contents from maybe at least the some stuff from maybe issue 115, 116 from the first maybe issue of All Out War or something. The beginning of All Out War in, in the finale, I'm guessing. Uh, so that's possible, and I could see that happening now. Uh, so yeah, that that's the article. Let me know what you guys think about it, and uh, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about this video, um, in this video, and uh, that is of a scene from a Fox promotional trailer. We uh, talked about it in a Let's Chit Chat video, I believe. I said I was going to do a whole video on this, and I'm doing that in this one too, because uh, otherwise this video wouldn't be that long for today. So, uh, basically in this one, uh, we're going to be talking about the scene in the Fox 
Rise Up promo. So uh, it's basically the same Rise Up promo, but they included two new scenes uh, in that version. Uh, so uh, that's pretty cool. But we end up seeing Dwight, and it looks like he's running somewhere. We don't really know where he's running. We clearly see that he's running through, like, the tombs, I guess you could say, of the sanctuary. Uh, of, uh, yeah, the sanctuary. But uh, what is he running from? Uh, is he running from Negan? Is Negan running after him with the bat or something? Um, you know, I'm going to be, honestly, I'm just going to say right off the bat in this video, I think what's going on here, and th this is what I'm going to say, is that he was in charge. When Negan left, you clearly saw Negan said, put him back in his cage, as if to say, you're in charge of this guy. Uh, you know, and Daryl has broken out by most likely, we don't know for sure, because there's still a couple possibilities, by Jesus. I think from this scene in the trailer, it's pretty clear that my prediction was right even before I saw the mid-season finale, that it, it was not Dwight. And I told a lot of people that, and people still kept coming back to me and saying, no, Dwight's going to let him out. No, I'm pretty sure that he's not, because... You can clearly see in this one that he's clearly trying to find Daryl. He's running to see if Daryl is, like, uh, already uh, gone, or, you know, like, or if he's still there and maybe he has a chance to, to capture him before he gets himself in trouble. He probably doesn't want, he probably would want to let him go if it was if it was him that was making the decisions. I, I would think Dwight would be nice to Daryl and he would have never done any of this. Glenn and Abe would have been alive. If it wasn't for Negan, none of this would be happening. The saviors would have kept to themselves, most likely. Because Dwight, if he was the leader, everything would have been fine. Honestly, I could see them working with Rick Scoop. Which, that's a spoiler later from the comic book series, they do end up working with Rick Scoop. Because Negan is in jail at that point. Uh, and that's spoilers from the comic book series. But So I guess I'll have to put a spoiler tag uh, you know, in this video. But uh, yeah. It's just that, I honestly have to say in this one, uh, it, it's really, really interesting. Uh, and I, I really do like how uh, they're making it seem like Dwight just might get his butt kicked by Negan. I think that would be absolutely cool if we did see Negan, uh, you know, uh, punish Dwight in, in a way, maybe. Uh, you, know, uh, wh you know, what is he going to do? Um, is he going to show, uh, you know, I don't know, like, is, is he uh, going to... Oh man, that's that's gonna be interesting. Uh, is he gonna? I, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Is he gonna get Eugene to bite him in the penis again? <laughs> I don't know. But it seems like it. You know, you okay? Negan is not gonna be very happy. He's already not happy. He got Lucille shot. And then he's gonna come back and he's gonna see that Fat Joey's dead and Daryl has escaped. Dwight is running for his life. I think if Daryl's gone, which we already know that he's not going to uh, get Daryl because Daryl's already gone, we're probably going to end up seeing Dwight try to run away. And I think that would be cool. Like, And then that would be like an add-in for the comic book series that we didn't see. And maybe we could see uh, Negan recapture Dwight. Or maybe we don't even see that at all. Maybe he runs away. For good. Maybe in the TV series he stays with Rick's group. Maybe he becomes part of their group for the rest of the series. Maybe him and Dwight make an understanding somehow. We're not really sure, but it definitely looks like there's gonna Negan's gonna do something. And I feel like uh it, it I think Dwight is gonna he might run away uh from uh, the, the sanctuary and he's either gonna get recaptured right away. Or if it takes a while, then he's probably not going to get captured again until maybe that could be a great scene in All Out War if Negan tries to kill Dwight. I don't know, but that would be very interesting. So, uh, Or maybe Simon brings him back as he sees that Dwight's with them in Alexandria. I don't know, but I think that is so interesting, man. Uh, and maybe they don't tell Negan what happened if he... I, I don't know. It, it, it seems like they're going to definitely do something with, uh, with Dwight. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this artif uh, article article from Andrew Lincoln. Uh, I'll probably post the whole thing in the description, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, it just, it, it's really, really cool. Uh, I'll post all those links in the uh, description for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll post the uh, promo and all that. So uh, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.